All right, we're solving exponential equations today. So here's some basic steps. Remember, an exponential has that variable up locked in the exponent. So here's some steps for us. I'd encourage you to write these down as you do a few of these. Hopefully it just becomes second nature, but isolate the exponential, that's key. Sometimes it's already done, but if it's not, we've got to get that exponential by itself. Then we can use the log. Remember, logs are the inverses of exponentials. That allows us then to use the power property, bring that exponent down, basically unlock that exponent. And then our goal, like any algebra equation we're solving, isolate the variable. So let's go look at a few examples together. Solve 12 to the x equals 39. Okay, well, our variable's up here, so we're gonna do the log of both sides. And normally, we'll do log, you could do natural log, because we have those two buttons on our calculator. Really, you could do any log. And then that allows us, using that power property, we bring the x out front, okay? And now we've got x times log 12 equals log 39. Well, log 12 is just a number. Let's divide it by both sides. So x equals log 39 divided by log 12. And we're going to go use our calculator. So here's a Desmos free calculator, a uh, scientific calculator. And if you go over to functions, you can find the log buttons, but you can also just type them. So I'll normally just type. So log of 39 divided by log 12. I like how that shows up. You can see exactly what you're doing. It's got our answer over here. Uh, and you know, some scientific calculators are a pain to mess with, and you gotta type things in a certain way. So I like this. You can just see what you're doing. So we'd round that to four decimals. So 1.4743 looks like, okay? Let's try another one. Now, very similar, we just got a little bit more going on. So seven to the x minus one equals 50. Notice I'm just spreading that out a little because I'm gonna put a log in front of both of those. And then we're gonna bring that exponent down. So I've got x minus one times log seven equals log 15, well, Divide log seven by both sides. So that's one, log seven divided by log seven. Now one more step, we just gotta add one over to get our x by itself. So then same thing, we go put that in the calculator. So if I type that in, here's another cool thing about this Desmos uh, calculator. You can see um, you know what you're doing. It just keeps it on the screen for you, so I like that. So log 15, divided by, and I'm just typing this on my computer keyboard, log seven plus one. Hey, there you go. Again, just round it four decimals, so 2.3917 looks like we would round up. Okay, how about this one? Very similar. Take the log of both sides. Let me just jump to that. So log of eight to the three x equals log of 24. Well, my three x is gonna come down. So I've got three x log of 8 equals log, ah, not 25, 24, sorry, 24. Now 3 times x times log x, what am I doing? Log of 8, sorry about that. And so we want to get x by itself. Well, let's divide 3 log 8 by both sides. So 3 divided by 3 will go away, log 8 divided by log 8. And so now I would put this in my calculator. So let's go bring that back up. So I've got log 24 divided by 3 log 8. Look how easy I can type that in. Get them ground to like four decimals, 0 0.5094 looks like. Okay, one more let's look at. Now, word problem, don't be intimidated. And they gave us the equation, so you don't even need to look at all those words. You're basically just solving this equation. Now notice in this one, the exponential is not by itself, so we need to divide that nine over. So if we do that, of course we would get two equals 1.15x. Now it's just like any of the other problems. Let's do the log of both sides. That allows you to bring your x out front. Well, that's not out front, out front. And so x equals the log of two divided by the log of 1.15. Let's go plug that in our calculator. So, 
log of 2 divided by log of 1.15, round it to the nearest year. Looks like it's about five years. Okay, so I hope you see the patterns there. You see the similarities as we solve those type problems. Uh, you do a few of them, you know, you start to get a good feel for it, hopefully, and um, feel pretty good about them.